Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we try to understand a very important word from the Bible as we study Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 as we read from the King James Version Bible, the New Testament, Philippians chapter 3 verse 7. But what things were gained to me? Yes, those I counted loss for Christ. Let us try to understand the word as we read from Philippians 3 verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. If God has called you to be really like Christ, he may draw you into a life of crucifixion and humility and put on you such demands of obedience that he will not allow you to follow other Christians and in many ways he will seem to let others, good people, do things which he will not let you do. Yes, as other Christians who seem very religious and also they are useful, may push themselves, pull wires and work schemes to carry out their plans, but you cannot do it and if you attempt it, you will meet with such failure and rebuke from the Lord as to make you solely penitent. Others may boast of themselves, of their work, of their success, of their writings, but the Holy Spirit will not allow you to do any such thing. And if you begin it, he will lead you into some deep mortification that will make you despise yourself and all your good works. Others will be allowed to succeed in making money, but it is likely God will keep you poor because he wants you to have something far better than gold and that is helpless dependence on him that he may have the privilege of supplying your needs day by day out of an unseen treasury. Yes, beloved, as we read in Philippians 4 verse 19, the word says, My God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshu Masiha. Hallelujah. The words are true as we read in Psalm 121. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. As we see in Psalm 91, there are myriads of angels surrounding each one of us. As we read in Psalm 68, verse 18 and 19. The words are true as we read. Yes, we bless your name for your daily loads with benefits. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Psalm 32, verse 8, He will lead us, guide us, counsel us, watch over us. Yes, let us know why we become like a horse or a mule or as the word will not keep with us. Also, we have been given the Holy Spirit as a guide, as a helper. As we read in Galatians 5, verse 22, we have the fruits and the gifts of Holy Spirit. As we read in Galatians 5, verse 22, it says, we have the fruits, that is the peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience and self-control. Yes, beloved. Also, as we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, we have the gifts of Holy Spirit. That is the power of Holy Spirit to prophesy, to interpret, to speak in tongues, to be faithful to Him, to have the wisdom, the knowledge, yes, and also the gift of prophecy, yes, the gift of healing and the gift of having the power to perform the miracles. Yes, beloved. All these have been given freely. Yes, the word says, as we read in Matthew chapter 7, verse 8, Ask and ye shall receive. It will be given to everyone without any bias. Yes, to everyone, whether you are rich, whether you are poor. The word says, only believe, Mark 5, verse 36. Yes, isn't that simple? Yes, we can do it, beloved. Hallelujah. Let us take out at least half an hour every day to read the word of God, the Bible, and to pray. Let it go hand in hand. For when we pray, we are speaking to God. And when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. Let us meditate on his word. 
for the words are true as we read in Psalm 112 verse 3. When we meditate on the word of God, yes, we will have wealth and riches in our house. The words are true, beloved. Yes, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. As we read in John 14 verse 6, he is the living waters, John 4.10. And also, yes, he is the light of the world, John 8.12. Yes. Yes, he, as with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. Isaiah 53, verse 5 is true. So right now, my dear brother, my dear sister, who are in the sick bed, be healed right now in the name of Yahweh Rafaqa. Yes, for he took our infirmities and carried the diseases. The words are true as we read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. Hallelujah. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Psalm 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and the staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hallelujah. The words are very true, beloved. Many times in our life we wonder what is our future, isn't it? The word says, He knows our past, present and future. For we read in Proverbs 15 verse 3, The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping a watch on the evil and the good. Yes, beloved. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his words will not pass away. The words are true as we read in Matthew 24, verse 35. And he is the same yesterday, today and forever. As we read in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Yes, beloved. 13, verse 8. The words are true, beloved. These words are not just words. It is the living words. This is not a story book or just a simple book. It is the living word of God, for the word is life. Yes, the word is spirit, beloved. As we read in John 6, verse 63. Yes, always say, Thy will be done. As we read the mighty word from John 6, verse 38. Yes, and also Jesus Christ is present with us right now. Right now. For he will not leave us as orphans. The words are true as we read in John 14, verse 18. Come what may, do not quit in life. Do not give up in life. Whatever is your request today, go presence in his presence boldly. Yes, the word says in Zechariah 1, Verse 3, return to me and I will return to you. The same words in Malachi. Yes, beloved. So be encouraged. Yes. Whatever is your request for, whether it is for financial needs, for your home needs, for your food, water, bread, money, Jesus Christ, he will provide you all your needs. He will strengthen you. He will also help you. Yes, beloved. For he is a helper. He is a guide and a very present help in trouble. Yes, he is a friend, a loving friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. The words are true. Yes, for man is but a breath in his nostrils. The words are true as we read in Isaiah chapter 2. For Jesus Christ will never leave you nor forsake you. Remember this word. As we read in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. The words are true, beloved. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The same word in Joshua 1 verse 9. So come what may. Let us be encouraged. Yes, Jesus Christ is standing next to you and to me. He is a salvation beloved and he will wipe away our every tear. He will be a shepherd and he will lead us to the living waters. The words are true as we read in Revelation 7.10 and Revelation 7 verse 17. And also the words are true as we read in Isaiah 45 verse 7. I form light, I create darkness. Yes, I bring calamity, I bring prosperity. And the Lord who does all these things. And the message for this year for you and me beloved is from Jeremiah 11 verse 29. 29 verse 11. It says... Yes, I know your thoughts. I have plans of future, hope, prosperity and also welfare and peace for you and me. Yes, beloved. The peace, he is the Prince of Peace. He is Emmanuel, Ebenezer. Yes, also he is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide, Genesis 22 verse 14. He will provide all the needs. Yes, he is also a banner. He is a Asian, he is read in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10. Yes, beloved. And also, the word says, the victory rests with the mighty God. The words are true as we read in Proverbs 21, verse 31. Yes, for the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory rests with the mighty God. The words are true as we read in Proverbs 21, verse 30 and 31. The words are true, beloved, as we read, He has already gone ahead of us and He's already sent us. He has already planned a future past, present. He knows everything. Even before we were formed in the womb, He knew us. The words are true as we read in Jeremiah chapter 1. What else do we require? Yes, when we commit ourselves in His hands, He will take care of us. He will carry us 
Even in a grey hair and old age, the words are true as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 4. Yes, and it says, yes, from the beginning he knows the end. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Yes, and he who's within me is greater than he who's in this world. The words are true, beloved, as we read the mighty word from Isaiah. Yes, yes, as we read in 46.10, he knows the past, present and future. Yes, from the beginning he knows the end. And 1 John 4.12, yes, and 4.4 4 says he who, is, he who is within me is greater than he who's in this world. And the important word is, when we love one another, Christ lives in us and his love is made complete through us. 1 John 4.12, yes, beloved. So let us love one another. It is the commandment given to you and to me. As read in John 15 verse 12, Love is the greatest of all. Love covers all differences and it breaks all barriers. And love never ends, beloved. As read in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, it says, Faith, hope and charity, but the greatest of all is love. Let us love one another. Yes, beloved. As God loved the world, God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, Yeshua Messiah, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth, should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Yes, similarly, let us love all each other. Yes, as it has been commanded to us, as we read in John 15.12. And also, we have to love our living God, our loving Father, with all our heart, mind, soul and strength, as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 10.12. And also in John 14 and John 15. Yes, beloved. For, yes, every promise that God has blessed you and me is Yah and Amen in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. As we read in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. And he is faithful to his promise as we read in Exodus 12 verse 25. Hebrews 10 verse 23. Yes, and those who hope in him will not be disappointed, beloved. The words are true as I 49 verse 23. Yes, for all the flesh will know that he is my redeemer and my salvation. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 49 verse 26. We have everything which has been given to us freely. Yes, let us take out the time and read the word of God. Jesus Christ will speak to you. For when we read the Bible, yes, God is speaking to us, beloved. And every curse will be turned into a blessing for you and me. The words are true because God has loved us. As we read in Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 5. Yes, beloved. So be encouraged today and every day. Yes, as we see, we have the Holy Spirit with us. Let us also do not grieve the Holy Spirit, the word says. Yes, beloved. Yes, for Jesus Christ will lead us and guide us and help us and bless us. The words are true as we read in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18. He rises to have compassion on us. He longs to be gracious to, gracious to us. He is a God of justice. Blessed is the man who waits upon him. Let us wait upon our living God, beloved. Many times we feel whether God is really hearing our prayer. But the word says, yes. I will look to the Lord, I will wait for him, and he will answer my prayer. The words are true as we read in Mika 7.7. 7. He will surely answer your prayer, beloved. Yes, and for my brothers and sisters who have lost their loved ones in this pandemic time, yes, or otherwise, by way of sickness, the word comes to you and to me as we read in John 11 verse 25. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, and he who believes in him, though he may die, he shall live. Hallelujah, the words are true. And for my brothers and sisters who say their past have been in waste, the word says to you and to me, in Joel 2.19-27, to yes, the word says, I will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten, and you shall never be put to shame. You shall never be put to shame. Hallelujah. The words are true. Yes, beloved. Let the weak say I am strong, as we read in Joel 3.10. And the word says, yes, be still and know that I am God, as we read in Psalm 46, verse 10. So let us wait upon our living God. And the blessing for you and me, as we read in Deuteronomy, yes, it says in chapter 7, verse 14, 15, Thou shalt be blessed above all people, and thou shalt be free of all diseases. What a wonderful God we have with us. Yes, the omnipotent God who reigns. Yes, as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. Yes, beloved, and he comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me, beloved. Yes, let us be encouraged every day. The Lord will let Others be honoured and put forward and keep you hid away in obscurity because he wants to produce some choice fragrant fruit for his coming glory. Remember, beloved, for each one God has a plan and it will come to pass. For the words are true as we read in Joshua 21.45 that all that God promised came to pass, nothing failed. Hallelujah. He will let others be great but 
keep you small. He will let others do a work for him and get the credit for it. But he will also make you work and toil without knowing how much you are doing. The Holy Spirit will put a strict watch over you. Remember, our God is a God of discipline and also rebuking you for little words and feelings or for wasting time. God is an infinite sovereign. He has a right to do as he pleases with his own. Settle it forever then that you are to deal directly with the Lord Jesus, that he is to have the privilege of tying your tongue, chaining your hand or closing your eyes in a way that he does not deal with others. Then you will have found the vestibule of heaven. Others may, you cannot. Remember, beloved, whatever is happening in your life, God has a plan. Yes, and also, as we commit ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. For the words are true in 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Every turmoil in your life will be disappeared in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Every kind of hindrances will be removed in the name of Yeshua Messiah. For he has every power and authority, beloved. As we read in Matthew chapter 28, and he's the maker of heaven and earth. Will he not help you? As we read in Psalm 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. The words are true, beloved. So seize the day and be encouraged. Yes, and go and put up all your requests to him. He will answer your prayer. Surely he will answer your prayer. As we read in 1 Chronicles 4.10, it says, Yahweh cried on the Lord. And he asked him to enlarge his territory and to keep him away from pain and also to bless him. And God answered his prayer. The words are written clearly. He will also bless you and me. Yes, beloved. So victory is there. You have to just seize the day and be victorious in life. As we commit ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. He is a Yahweh Ire, beloved. Remember, as we read in Genesis 22 verse 14, he is a God will provide. Yes, he's a Emmanuel, God with us. And he's a helper, he's a Ebenezer. Hallelujah. And he's a banner, he's a Ishunisi. As read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. Yes, he is a guide even unto death. Remember these words. As read from Psalm 48. Yes, verse 14. Hallelujah. Yes, and all my springs come from thee. The words are true. Psalm 87 verse 7. There are 40,000 checks in the Bible. And cash it, beloved, with your own signature. Not a king or a queen's signature. It requires your signature. Yes, everything is at hand. We have to just open the word of God, the Bible, and read it. For it is the roadmap of life and the manna to our soul. Hallelujah. And for my dear sister, the word is coming. The word says, as we read in 2 Kings chapter 4, as, as the lady with the oil had little oil, and her husband had died. And she had two sons and she had to pay the debts. The word came that the oil was blessed. God blessed the oil, olive oil, which never got over and she could pay her debts and she could live with the remaining oil. Jesus Christ is blessing us similarly right now. Hallelujah. He's blessing each one of us right now. Let us receive the blessings. Yes, let us be healed also in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. For at that very hour, the people with the infirmities, the afflictions, those who were blind were healed. Yes, they received their sight and the evil spirits departed for Jesus Christ is present with you and me right now also. As we read in Luke 7 verse 21, the same words are living and present. Jesus Christ is present right now over here, beloved. Hallelujah. And he loves all of us. Hallelujah. The words are true. Yes. Also, let us love one another. Yes. For love is the greatest of all. Yes. Do like and subscribe the channel, Arise and Shine. Also, the message for you and me is Arise and Shine, Isaiah 60 verse 1. Do like and subscribe the channel, Arise and Shine, Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. Yes, as God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I'm here for his service. Yes, for we are his clay and he's a potter, as we read in Isaiah 64 verse 8. And the words are true. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As read in Joshua 24 verse 15. Yes, God bless you. Number 6 verse 24. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.